Hey guys, so um, this video is going to be about home organization and um, I'm just going to show you a few things um, around my house, um, how I keep certain areas organized. I am by far not um, the most organi organized person in the world. Like, I don't consider myself an organized person at all, but I'm trying to do better. And um, I have picked up a few tricks over the years for organization, so I'm going to go around my house and show you some of the things that I do to um, stay organized. Okay, so this is a little area in my living room, and um, it's just to keep a bunch of Trevor's toys organized. Basically, this is his little play area in the living room. Um, so... What I like about this is it has all the little cubbies and then you can put as many bins as you want in it. You can fill the whole thing up with bins or you can do half and half. Um, it's totally up to you, but I chose to do half and half so I have four bins and basically um, these just keep all of his things organized like um, this bin. I have all of his little pieces that go together that go with like his VTech, um, I think they're by VTech, yeah, VTech, like this is the airport, and then he's got a con construction site, and these are just all the pieces that go with it. And then um, like up on top he has some bigger toys, and then his little puzzle organizer. Um, this bin down here just has like a bunch of his little books and um, then I have a bunch of other books in that little cubby. And then this one is just for cloth diapers. And this is just a bunch of like random little toys. Um, a lot of it is like baby toys that I have to go through and get rid of. Um, you know, he's got like McDonald's Happy Meal toys and just little things that go in there and then in these bins he's got some other little toys so that is how I keep his toys organized in the living room okay now I'm going to show you the kitchen pantry and don't mind that whole mess that is pretty unorganized but um, what I did with my spices is I put them up on the door and I wanted to get a, um, like an actual um, spice rack that goes on the counter, but I don't really have a lot of counter space. Um, so I found these things. I actually, I think I ordered them off of Amazon, but um, they might have them like at the container store or if you guys have like another organize, organizational store like near you, you could probably find them there. But um, they're just little clips and they have sticky things on the back. You just stick them up to wherever you want to put them. I decided the inside of my pantry door would be the best. So that holds all of my spices. And I like this because um, they're facing out so I can see like all the different spices that I have. and um, if I'm running out of anything or if I need anything, I can just look right there and I can see. So that is that. Then I have one more trick for the kitchen organization. Um, on the inside of this door, I have all of my measuring spoons and cups hanging up right on the back of the door. So um, I used to have them like just in little bins in here and I was always like rummaging around for them, trying to find them. But now all I have to do is open up the cupboard door and they're all right here. So um, in these little hooks, I just got them at the Dollar Tree. So that's that. Okay, now we're in one of my bathrooms, and this is how I've been storing my nail polish. Um, this rack is actually a large utensil holder, and I got it at Home Goods. And um, I do not like the color, it's like this bright orange color. I actually um, plan on taking it down and spray painting it, uh, like black or 
silver or something I don't know but um right now it works so up on top I just have some of my um, peel or nail polish strips and then um, all of my nail polish and that actually fits all of my nail polish perfectly so if I end up getting any more I'll have to get another rack but yes utensil racks for nail polish holders and I just um, I don't know if you can see the nail I just nailed it right through onto the wall so that is that okay so now we're in my son's closet and my favorite part of his closet um, are these organ organizational um, like hanging bins I guess hanging things um, so I just have two sitting right here and basically these are all his off-season clothes that fit him so he's wearing 24 months right now so these are all his 24 months summer clothes and actually I um, just switched out his summer and winter clothes so these were all winter but I put his winter clothes over in his dresser um, because it's getting colder here and it's becoming winter so not all of the summer clothes are like packed away not really packed away but they're in his closet just sitting there waiting for next summer and um, if any of those still fit him then they'll go back in his dresser but um, they'll all have to I'll have to go through all those next summer so that's his um, organization for his closet Okay guys, so that's all of my organizing tips for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some new ideas from me. Um, let me know in the comments below what you do to stay organized if you have any tricks um, that help you. So thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow.